The 632 breaking overnight. A driver is in the hospital after running his car right into a fire hydrant. You can see water shooting up into the air. It was all over the streets. 10 News first at the scene, new at 630. Reporter Hannah Mullins is live in Choyas View with our first look at more damage and how a special fire engine had to be used. It was a huge help. Hannah? That's right, Virginia. The fire hydrant started off at street level up there. You can see where the street just collapsed. And then this is all downhill, and businesses are at the bottom of it. We want to go to some video shot in just the past 20 minutes. A couple of inches of water blew right through their offices, leaving a wet mess behind. Computers are down, and a restoration company is headed in. Now, our 10 News photographer was the very first on scene around 1 this morning. A raging rush of water tore about 75 feet into the sky while the the driver was trapped in the car below and the passenger who's in the black shirt said the driver had a seizure at the wheel and simply stopped responding as they headed straight for the hydrant. Fire crews rushed in, but it was a risky rescue because he hit an electrical box as well. One of the firefighters climbed into the car while others worked to tow it off the hydrant since their heavy rescue unit has a winch on board. Now, by that time, the firefighter had a neck brace on the driver and appeared to be talking him through those frightening moments. He was loaded onto a stretcher and taken to the hospital after the intense 30 minute rescue. This is one of those calls where there's patience has to come into play. I mean, we want to go in there and do the best for the patient, but because of the electrical boxes, we really had to take our time to make sure that we weren't going to jeopardize the rescuers going in there. And he just went unconscious. He went unconscious. I was trying to get him to respond, but he wouldn't say that. Now, San Diego police aren't entirely buying the seizure bit. They tell us he may have been drunk. Now, the passenger said he was unresponsive, so we have to wonder if he was so drunk that he may have actually passed out behind the wheel. We just found this license plate, which was left behind. It matches what's on the video, so we're going to check this and try to track down that driver for you. We're live in Choice View. Hannah Mullins, 10 News.